Hey, but here we are. One thing we have learned, do not go six hours without stopping. <laughs> Uh, just what you said that last thing about <laughs> Sunday, just yeah. We ended up driving through the state of Georgia and ended up in the same place I eat at every Sunday. <laughs> and I'm actually thrilled to death to be here. <laughs> we tried eating at Twin Peaks, but it requires an engineering degree to get in the parking lot. Especially with the traffic and getting off on the Barrett Park exit with a bad move on my part and then well there was only one way to get there and it was kind of hidden and apparently they need to so the owner of trim peaks if you're see, if you're if, if you're watching this video i thought you saw it so that's how's it going so I, okay so the owner of trim peaks if you're watching this buy a dog on the side well i didn't say anything because i thought you saw it and then when you passed it i'm like oh no no, yeah, I, I didn't see it. I was, there was not really any sign. It was kind of like in the same area as the restaurant that was yeah. in front of it, which I can't remember what that place was. Yeah, know. and then we went out, tried to get the next two, we tried to wing the next two exits, and they had 100% fast food restaurants. Yeah. Um, and then the one place we tried, we drove two miles out of the way, it was closed. So here we are back in Carlsville, which I think we also go two miles to get here off the exit. But anyway, we are here. But yeah, looking back, I should have—I shouldn't have drove straight from I don't know, way in Florida through Carlsville to stop. That was just way too long to drive. There's almost 400 miles that we drove without stopping. Well, as um, we got closer to Atlanta, though, we were thinking. We was trying to get through the line. So we had a good strategy. Especially since he told me of a game that was going on. And by, well, and I forgot it was Sunday. So yeah. I guess 5 o'clock traffic was really And we didn't want to eat too early because at that point it was like 3 or 4 o'clock. And it was too kind of, you know. He started telling me about that game. So I'm thinking, well, maybe we need to try to get through that first. Right. But anyway, here we are. Yeah. Um, and we were just proud to be sitting down and eating and, you know, and all this stuff, so. But the drive back over, all the drive, we really didn't hit any traffic the whole way. Like, nothing major, you know, coming or going. So overall, the driving's went good. Uh, we haven't hit Jim's warning yet, so don't, uh, I'm knocking on wood. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I got I got to check that out. Just to record videos. <laughs> So, all right, we'll get back with you here in a little bit. Why do you want to own this video? Okay, I will be right back. That's okay. He, he's easy to get a boy. All right, take four. All right, Kelly. Now that we've had a few minutes to collect the thoughts and all that good stuff. <laughs> um, thoughts on the trip? The good, the bad, the ugly? Anything in between? It's a good trip overall. It has been, yeah. I forgot about the pool stuff staying up until later. So I wish I would have done more of that now, late at night. Because very last night I went up there from like 8.30 to 10 and there was like nobody there. I think I fell asleep about 9 o'clock last night. So, pool all to myself versus earlier that day where I couldn't even find a chair on both pullbacks anywhere, so it's like... Oh, you talking about on the ship? Well, I was trying to go, I was trying to, I figured like everybody would be at the Harry Bain contest, so I figured I'd go to the other pool, you know, just kind of hang out for a while, but I get there, it's like there was no chairs at all. So I figured, well, let me try to go back a little later, and of course, when I went at 8 or 8.30, it wasn't a soul in the pool, because everybody was downstairs watching the shows and everything, so it kind of worked out, but I didn't realize that they were open till midnight. The pool was open till midnight or something. Hey, she remembered. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Kind of worked out. Yep. Well, what's, um... So one person said, how can you swim 
when it's that cold outside. How can you swim in that pool? Like, well, I did it in Alaska, so if I can do it in Alaska. <laughs> Should be a breeze when you're in the gravy. What were some of your positives overall for the trip? Enjoy the excursions. The excursions were definitely, definitely awesome. On the on the excursion front, the one thing that I regret, I don't know if I've said it on camera or not, was I should have booked an excursion in San Juan. I had a my ideal thing was I was kind of wanted a day to rest and relax and get caught up on that, but I ended up not resting and relaxing and I just kind of didn't get a whole lot accomplished so I should have took the credit I had and booked an excursion even though it wouldn't have been as fun as the, the other two we booked it would have still been something to do and something to look forward to so I think going forward I will always book an excursion on every port unless it's like a free beach day type thing like like grand I mean like unless it's a one where you just get to go to the beach for free like Grand Turk. That's a beach near the ship. Yeah, that's that, different that there. But I, I'm either going to do an excursion or I'm going to do a, like a beach. Okay. I was happy with uh, the beach. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, we we'll have to wheel Brandon out of the <coughs> dining room the very last night was Yeah. Yeah. I guess on day seven, we did all this and kind of got to the point where I just couldn't eat anymore. I had to turn away shrimp. Mike's museum that we went to was fun. It was fun, yeah, it was cool. I, I, I knew you would like that one. I, I did, I've did one of those before, and I knew that would be right up your warehouse. I saw an interesting Pirates Cove uh, golf course in Ripley's, believe it or not. We didn't get a chance to do it. Yeah, there were some things to do there. I think the, the I don't know, we're going to have to talk about what to do next time. But, like, oh, well, yeah, like there were things to do, but it was a combination of the Georgia game and then me being tired and sort of. I kind of wish I would have had more time, but then the time that I did have, I didn't. Um, okay, dinner is here, so I guess we will come back and finish this up. Freaking little Mexican lady comes on. Alright. Can you see me? You got numbers on the top? Uh, you're counting down. Okay. Um, this has been kind of like you would expect with me and Kelly driving 600 miles. <laughs> but big picture, nothing's really happened. We just, we're just kind of eager to get home. Um, and I've we started this video ending so much, I forgot where I was, who, where we started <laughs> from. But, um, um, this is retake uh, nine or ten or somewhere in there. Let's see here. But um, highlights for me. As, Carnival, the food's always consistent. Um, no, no, of course, we we'll probably talked about half the video. <laughs> He'll be proposing to her on the yep. next cruise. All I say about no, no is I'd let her check my all. <laughs> Room steward. Room was, steward was good. Was One good. Thing we did differently is that we tipped him before the cruise, like five bucks, and we and. I gave him a little after. He kind of gave me a little bit afterwards too. So I I can't say for certainty that that helped, but it certainly I, I guess it did because we got we you know I have, I have no complaints over it. Over yeah, he even uh, he even got the uh, uh, a maintenance guy in there to fix our light for the bathroom. Oh, the was that the toilet thing? That was the light switch thing, yeah. Yeah, the toilet thing messed up too, and he fixed that quickly too, so that may not have happened. Because you didn't call, and I didn't, so. Yeah, so I think that helped. And, uh, oh, and the head waiter did argue with Mr. Brandon Davis. The head waiter, we got to about day... Well, he did it nicely, though, but still. Yeah, 
we got to about day four and we hadn't had any luck with finding. Oh, waiters, the first night the waiter was friendly. I, I would say, for, well, he was friendly. But, but like, I guess we were, I was kind of spoiled and rendered the last trip. Yeah, that was probably a and, factor. Um, and for day four, I was like, these waiters aren't really friendly. They weren't like rude. They, they actually served us quickly. But I was like, I kind of want somebody that's he missed that. He missed that personal connection. Yeah, and then, so I said, you know, you got any, like, friend, who's a friendly, like, like waiter you can like give us and he said all of our waiters are waiters are all friendly I was like what? just kind of walked away uh, and didn't really I, say anything I, else I, did I, I keep me if I said some are friendlier than others but I think I did but he just kind of walked away like it was yeah. the end of the conversation and it's like now I don't know Carnival's policy on that but I do know Home Depot's and that's the customer's always right and you never argue so Maybe Carnival's a little more, more lenient on that. Doug or Brandon, if you're watching, you could probably answer this question. But just uh, most Home Depot employees, that would have been a write-up. But, you know, like I said, but it's like, but anyway. Overall, we have no, you know, that's the only complaint I have from the dining room standpoint. It's like you can, I mean, like any argument, whether it's a friendly argument or not, is still disagreeing yeah. with the customer. And where I work, that's just a big no-no. But, uh, no, no. <laughs> nah. no. Uh, yeah, I guess I just. You know, you know, I, can, I guess I'm not going to be able to say anything that's not going to remind him of her. I, I, I consider myself, I know this will be a surprise to my family. Good God Almighty, a pretty emotionless, heartless kind of guy, you know. <laughs> but here in. Take that as you will. But here in the. I'm the. Here in the. Signature, I'm when you were leaving on a fun ship song to close that dining room, and then 45 minutes later, you're a no no close out the cruise with Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You. Somebody started cutting onions up in here, <laughs> <laughs> he lost it. Yeah, so which you've probably already heard the, that video part of that, but. Well, only 17 seconds of that. I'm leaving on the jet plane park because I forgot to hit record. <laughs> um, yeah, we've we've done this like at least five times already. Yeah, so. exactly. um, any other? Uh, Orlando stay was museum was fun. It, it was good. I would. Um, I think it was a little tricky, just from the fact that I was tired and full in the Georgia game and blah blah blah, but. We did see a uh, Ripley's, believe it or not, that I was in it that I thought looked interesting. Right. And then a Pirate's Cove miniature golf course yeah. that was very big and very detailed. I mean, it was detailed enough to make you curious about but, it. Yeah, I mean, it, was, there's it was definitely def not like a rinky-dink yeah. operation. I mean, there's definitely several things you can do to waste time getting off on Saturday without having to do the theme park type stuff. I enjoyed what we did. Like I said, the museum, Wax Museum was a lot of fun. Hadn't done anything like that before. Yeah, I, I think in general, I think I would I would do that again. Oh, definitely. You know, just, you know, because you're getting off on Saturday and you're already there. You know, my, I'd probably bump up the hotel a little bit more. But I, even, but I did love the location for the hotel. And then there was the little side detour before we started on the road. What you talking about, brother? <laughs> <laughs> we found a uh, shop uh, in tribute to one of our old school favorites growing up, a Mr. Hulk what Hogan. What you gonna do in these pythons that are running wild on you? So we, we walked in and the very first thing we see is a life-size Jimmy Hart doll, and then TVs on every wall, one showing like an old WrestleMania video versus Hogan and the Rock, and another one showing No Holds Barred versus, I don't know if, you, wrestling fans will probably remember that, starring Zeus and Hulk Hogan, but, and just tons of memorabilia. That was really cool. It's one of those stores that you can't really, don't 
don't really want to buy nothing other than something small, but you really cool to look. Which is kind of how every store we went into in Orlando was. Really cool to look, but too expensive to buy anything of Tons food. of sleeping socks. Hint, hint. <laughs> Stocking gifts, anybody? <laughs> um, hint, hint. Um, yeah, uh, that's uh, many other... They had... They had a million dollar belt. Some other I, there's, costed four hundred bucks. <laughs> the fun staff was good. There was a couple of really good people. In the fun staff. The, there was always stuff going on at night. Um, the CD brunch was about an hour wait both times, so that was a negative. Um, but overall, you know, wish I was going back tomorrow. Oh, did you send Brent the picture of that uh, WrestleMania VCR game that you took a picture of at the Hulk Hogan show? I didn't see him that way. I seen him a couple of the pictures. <laughs> um, we hopefully we got a long way to go between now and Halloween next year. <laughs> and he's already planning on 2022, folks. Yeah, I like that. That one was intriguing, but we're, yeah, I've been a little bit preoccupied by this one, but we got time, a little bit more time now to focus on the 2021 20, cruise. And just so you know, the crew, this cruise that we're planning on is Carnival's newest ship, the Mardi Gras. Carnival Mardi Gras. And its ringleader, is uh, cruise director, is going to be Matt Mitchum, which yeah. uh, if any of you watching this are thinking about going on cruising, and this whole family will agree with you that he was by far the best cruise director that any of us have ever seen. So if that tells you anything right there. Um, and this ship that we're going on, you have, you have we had to book a year in advance or it would have gotten full. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so it's, I'll be curious to see if it's what the occupancy is now. I need to go look just to see if there's any rooms available. But, so um, yeah, yes. Any other? But um, the me. Yeah, it was you know it was a different cruise. Obviously, we just been two people com composed to five or six, and so it always makes for a different atmosphere. So, um, but yeah, I mean the dodo was phenomenal. Um, I'm thinking about a spring wedding. <laughs> I don't know if she is, but I, that's what I'm thinking. Mm. <laughs> um, Kelly, Positive what, thoughts. Kelly, what's your closing thoughts? Mm. I just, uh, I can't wait to get home and start on laundry. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I, have, I hear one of Kelly's six water bottles making noises down there. I just filled it up with water from the restaurant. <laughs> Thank you. So, oh, I, well, I guess that's... At least I haven't been thirsty in this uh, trip. And uh, drinking know. water instead of Coke the... or energy drinks. Uh, or unlike some people in this car. I, I will admit, I wish I had your bladder. <laughs> but, um, anyway... I, I think guess... anybody's bladder would turn to buzz drinking energy drinks. Um, I mean, how did you drink that now? Um, so yeah, that's we're, we're signing off. Um, I don't want to go. I think I don't want to go. I think I want to go jump in the river. Apparently, the GPS is thinking the same thing because it's got had him going in the water at least ah! four or five times this trip already. <laughs> yep. All right, but, folks. Uh, we'll, we probably rambled on, but two hours so <laughs> we'll, we'll see you next time we'll see same you. big pimping time same big pimping channel <laughs>